so hey guys welcome back to my channel for another video today's video is going to be a kitchen clean and organize with me i'm going to show you how i organize our kitchen cabinets without having a pantry and i hope that you guys enjoy today's video first i'm going to show you how it looked before and then i'm going to show you at the end how it looked afterwards if you happen to be new by my channel i would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button i would love to have you join the family and also please give this video a big thumbs up So because this was kind of late at night and I'm I'm not gonna lie guys I was super tired so I had a long day and I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get the kitchen nice and clean and I know I need to go ahead and wipe down the table and the chairs so I'm wiping down both kind of at the same time so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe them down so I can have the table nice and clean for when we get ready to organize our bins so that's what I'm doing first Also in this video, we have a special guest. <laughs> My husband will be coming in, helping me out from time to time. He understood that I was tired on tonight and so he came in and helped. So we kind of partnered up on this video and i hope that you guys enjoyed it as well because i know a lot of you be wanting to see my husband more in the videos and he definitely don't mind helping and i really appreciate the help Also to save some time, my husband had already went in and took everything out of the cabinet. So all I had to do was come in and wipe them down really good. And then I'm gonna put everything back in there, nice and organized. The beans that I would be using, I got those from Amazon. Actually, one of my subscribers bought that for me. And she was super sweet about it. And you already know who you are. I just wanna say thank you again for this gift. It really came in handy. This is not her first time buying something for our family. So I just really appreciate the support and the love and just thank you again.
watching, you probably wondering, girl, what else are you not gonna put in this thing? So I am putting everything in here in the seasoning packs for my macaroni. I'm putting it in another container so I will have everything organized and the tags come with these containers so that was convenient as well. I can label all my things, even the pen came with it. So if you guys are looking for some containers for your cabinets or your pantry, I will leave these linked in my description box. After we finish over here on this side i'm going to move over to our spice cabinet and it was kind of sort of you know satisfying but i want to kind of do something different in here so i will try to figure out what i would be putting over here in the corner just so i can have a little bit more of a organized you know section so i will be on the lookout for something i could put over here maybe like some shelves or something that'll have it you know stacked up and down i don't know we'll see we'll figure it out but i mean for the time being it did just well and i don't want to get this wrong but i think the same subscriber also bought me a spice organizer so i have that in the drawer so thank you again for that as well So we basically just put everything from the tallest to the shortest so we can be able to see back there now we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up in here my husband is gonna go ahead and help me clean off the countertops and once everything is cleaned off of the counter i will go ahead and move on to the oven and so on
I would be lying if I said that my oven and my microwave was like, you know, got cleaned often, but they are horrible. As you can see, the microwave look like pieces of food just been falling off in the microwave. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that off. I will be using my Lysol disinfectant spray with some vinegar. Then I just kind of let the microwave heat that up and then it came off really nicely. So I did go ahead and clean that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and let the tray soak in the water. And then I'll come back and put that in later. So now let's talk about the oven. <laughs> As you can see, I don't clean this oven often. I'm not gonna lie to anyone, but I did, I was impressed about, you know, how much came up. I really want to get, you know, a little bit better, but I did let this sit like almost a day. So it came up pretty good, but the next time I will let it sit a whole night or actually like a whole 24 hours. So next time I think it'll be a little bit better because the back still had a few stains that needed to come up, but overall it looked pretty nice. So baby, it's time to light that candle and then you know after that, it's time to go ahead and finish those floors. I'm finna go ahead and get the broom in the dustpan. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep. Then I'm gonna come in with my Swiffer Widget Mop, which actually ran out of solution, but I ended up putting some Lysol cleaner on the floor and just mopping it that way. And that'll be all for this video, guys. It wasn't that long, but I hope that you guys enjoyed anyway. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. As always, I'll see you in my next video. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.